Okay, so on the practice land type test, I saw we had this question uh, about nutritional information. This nutritional information is on the packet of a loaf of bread. The top part, we have a nutritional information. Serving size, one slice, which is 44 grams. Servings per packet, 16. So therefore, there's 16 slices of bread in one pack. The next layer, we have typical values, average quantity per 100 grams, average quantity per serve, and daily intake per serve. That little asterisk is relating to a little note down here. Percentage daily intake are based on average adult diet of 8,400 kilojoules or 2,000 kilocalories. Okay, so let's see. Typical values, energy, fat, carbohydrates, fiber, protein, salt. Okay, so we've got quantities. This quantity here, 985 kilojoule relates to the amount of energy. The average quantity per serve is, uh, of energy is 433 kilojoules, which is 5% of the daily intake. If I'm looking at fat, saturates, we've got 1.5 gram, of which is 0 0.3 grams. Carbohydrates, 45.5 grams, of which 3.8 grams, and so on and so forth. Here we have those exact same quantities, but they're in um, per serve. And then here we have the percentage of the daily intake. Now, when you're thinking about the percentage of the daily intake, how do they work that out? Well, they might say percentage is a fraction. So we've got 433 kilojoules, and we have 840 kilojoules. Okay, so if I divide 433, if I divide that by 8,400, I should get my percentage. So that equals 433 divided by 8,400, because division is really just another way of doing a, 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 um, a fraction. So we know it's 433 out of 8,400. Percenter there, about 0 0.05. Now I want to work out my percent, which is percent per 100. So we multiply equals. I'm going to multiply this figure. I'm just going to click on it because it's too long. Times 100. 5%. Now I knew that already because I know that 0 0.5 is around 5%. Why? Because I know a percent is 5 per 100, which is 0 0.05. So I just remember that off the top of my head, and you should eventually too. But if you don't know, percent is whatever number. If I want 7%, right down here, I've got 7%. I'll just go 7 by 100, 0 0.07, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's get rid of that, and let's look at our first question. How much energy is in two slices of bread? Well, first of all, the table tells us the quantity per serve for one slice of bread. So if I have one slice, one slice, oh, can't write, I know one slice is equal to, uh, what's one slice equal to? One slice is equal to 433 kilojoules. Fair enough. So, but I want to know two slices. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to multiply one by two to find to make two slices. And I'll have, whatever I do on this side of the equal sign, I have to do on the other side. So I'm going to equals times two. So I multiply that by two. So it's the same old algebra that you've been doing all the time. Whatever I do to this side, I have to do to that side. So two slices is equal to 866. And that's the answer. Next question. 
Based on the information at the bottom of the table, how many kilojoules are equal to one kilocalorie? So let's say we've got one kilocalorie. Oh, well actually, we'll start off. We know from here, we've got 8,400 kilojoules. 8,400 kilojoules is equal to 2,000 kilocalories. I think you can all agree to that. So, but we only want to know for one kilocalorie. I'll delete those so they don't distract you. So, to turn the 2,000 into 1, we'll just say that equals 2,000 divided by 2,000. Now we've just got one kilocalorie on this side. But whatever I do to this side, I have to do to that side. We have to do the same every time. So that equals 8,400 divided by 2,000. 4.2, and there's your answer. 4.2 kilojoules. Okay? They could ask lots of other ways of doing things, not just those ones. They might ask, um, how many kilojoules are in 200 grams of bread? Let me see, I'll put that in. So let's say they ask us, how many kilojoules are in 200 grams of bread? Well, we know 100 grams from here is 985 kilojoules. We know that. 100 grams equals 985 kilojoules. But we want 200, so we've got to multiply both sides by 2. So that equals 100 times 2. This is 9, 985 times 2. So we've got 200 grams equals 1970, 1970 kilojoules. Let's say they ask another question. Maybe they're going to ask, let me see, how many kilojoules are in half a slice of bread? How many kilojoules in half a slice of bread? Well, let's see. In one slice of bread, because we know that, one slice of bread, we've got 433 kilojoules. And that's one slice. So for half a slice, we're going to multiply 433 times a half, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, or divided by 2, whatever you prefer, and that equals 1 times 0 0.5 equals a half. Oops, that's not right. Put an extra 0 in there, times a half. See, I multiplied them both by 0 0.5. I could have divided them both by 2, wouldn't have mattered. Okay, just depends however you work out your own half. So, 433 kilojoules equals, for one slice, gives you two, 216.5 kilojoules for half a slice. So all you do is you just try and read the, th the questions and see how, they, how they're relevant to the answers. So how many kilojoules in two slices of bread? We know one slice. Based on the information, how many kilojoules equal to one kilocalorie? We know how many are in 2,000. So just dissecting the question, you should be right. Thanks. For th that's all for now.